What's up guys, Justin here with the Sketchup Essentials. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about what to do if you have an extension that's crashing Sketchup. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I made the video last week about free extensions for Sketchup and um, one of the extensions, and I'm not sure which one is causing Sketchup to crash when I open it up. So if I open up a new model like this, Notice what this does is this pops up for a second and then I get a bug splat and SketchUp crashes like this. And so I'm not sure what's causing this other than I know that I installed a, a plugin for SketchUp that's causing SketchUp to crash. So I know that because it didn't crash before and now that I've installed some additional extensions, it's now crashing. And so the way to fix this is pretty simple. Um, you just need to go into your plugins folder and just remove out the plugin that's causing the issue. And so I'm gonna go ahead and close out the bug splat screen but basically what you want to do is you want to go into this folder on your computer and i'm not sure what the file structure is on a mac so i'm not sure if this is any different basically this is your c drive and then under users your username and then your app data folder now one thing to note about this in windows is that app data folder may not show up unless you toggle on show hidden items but then if you do that you're going to be able to go into this app data fo folder and you're going to be able to go into the roaming folder under sketchup your sketchup version and then your plugins inside of SketchUp. And so notice what this has inside of it is it has a number of different Ruby script files as well as some supporting files in here as well that those Ruby script or plugin files are going to reference. And so what we wanna do, and I find it most helpful to go not into the date modified, but into the date created. You can just right click and open up date created. But if you look at this, I've got a number of extensions that were created or added on 219. So those are gonna be some of my more recent extensions. And so what I wanna do is I wanna take these and I want to do a shift click. I wanna take all the Ruby script files that are in here that have a date of 219 and I want to remove them. So I'm just going to select them all and then just do a control X and I've got another folder that I've got open on another screen and I'm just gonna paste them over here. So effectively what I've done is I've removed those plugins from SketchUp like this. And so now that I've remo removed those plugins from SketchUp, I can go back in and reopen it. And when I reopen SketchUp, what you're gonna notice is whatever the extension was that was causing the issue is no longer installed and now SketchUp is going to work just fine. All my other extensions are still in there. It's just that this collection of extensions is no longer in here. And then you could bring them back in one at a time to figure out which one is causing the crash. And if you can't sort it out just by picking the most recent, plugins, sometimes it's a good idea to just take everything that's in that folder and just move it out of that folder and then let SketchUp load back up and then load your extensions in one by one. So um, a little bit of tracking down that you have to do when SketchUp is crashing due to an extension, but not especially difficult to do. So that's where I'm in this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about anything we talked about. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you do need help learning how to use SketchUp, make sure you check out my course at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.